Welcome inside Kauffman Stadium. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Kansas City Royals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. Our starter in this one, Leading Cole off, Reagan. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, look at the number. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Tattooed to Tater Town. And gone. He wastes no time on this one. His 38th of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. He's been so difficult to pitch against lately. It seems like no matter how you attack him, he finds a way to punish you. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups with pop in the leadoff spot, and it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did. Start the game off with a huge bang. Jose Miranda. Now in the box. On one. Comes up empty with a swing there. That one the other way. And a base hit. Man at first. Here's Alex Kirilov. Good power, not great in the OBP department. That's the inside. Ball. One and oh. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's hey. nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump yeah, on him even more. One on, nobody out, a run in here in the second game of the series. Whoa. And another ball. Two one. Hard ground ball, base now. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on him, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And here comes Carlos Correa. That one hooked foul. Traffic on the bases with one already in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. On the ground to third, and that's a base hit. Miranda coming around third, and he beats it. He's safe. That ups his hitting streak to lucky number 13. The Baker's dozen boog, and it doesn't seem like a huge number, but. Anytime you get to the point where you hit in every game for almost two weeks straight, uh, that's a sign of what kind of rhythm you're in. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Golden opportunity right here. Hard hit, left field. Could be extra bases. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate, and they lead by four. Not in time, it's a double. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Brian Jeffers digs in now. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Just one hit in his last five games. Renfro in position. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. Batting seven. Right field. Now batting Max Kepler. Chris has been a good year for him, having already set a new career high for RBIs in a season. 
And That's the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, clear game plan coming in this one. Be aggressive against this starter. Try to knock him out of this ball game, and it looks like they're on their way to doing that. Get into the bullpen a little bit early. Could be a great Good offensive break. day. And now the lefty. And That's another the ball. ball. That misses. And that's ball three. Farmer stands at third with one gone in the inning. That one ripped left field. That's got a chance. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. In comes the runner from third. It's 5 nothing. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Manager out of the dugout now. So they turn things over to the righty, Matt Sauer. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And he deals. Missed with a changeup. Ball one. Bullpen action for the Royals. Alec Marsh getting loose out there. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. Got him swinging. And now for the Twins, Matt Walmer. That one pushed to the left and foul. And the pitch. That misses the zone. One and one. And a foul ball. Finish him. Man at second. Just misses. And the count is two and two. It's a good take. Up and in. And the count's full. Man on second, two down. And there's ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Buxton at the Hold plate, the two away, swings through that one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking nope. to do outside. damage. And yeah, that's outside, and it's one and one. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Water splashes the leather on the running cat. So up now for Kansas City, number 11. That's in there. Strike one. Five run lead after their first at bat. That is huge at this point, but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas. Don't let that team back in this ball game. Cruise to the finish line, but do it with intention. Farmer steps on the bag. One up, one down. Drew Waters, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And next up for the Royals, Vinny Pasquantino. That's in there. And that's strike one. Base knock right field. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. 
Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. The relay to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Back-to-back -back base hits. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Two outs, no ball, two, two right. in scoring position. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Second inning set to go. Now the third baseman, Jose Miranda. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Hammer, base hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball one, tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And Elio one swings through that one for strike two. Oh, and two. And ball one. At the belt and fires. And that one is inside. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And there's one away. Man at first. Here's Carlos Correa. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Swing and a miss as he was out oh, front that time. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Miranda, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score easily. It's 6 nothing. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already man at second with one away Kyle Farmer the next twin up to him this one in the air center field waters makes the play two down So, man aboard. So, up next for Minnesota, Brian Jeffers. Flied to right his first time. Wait on that fastball. Just a bit tardy oh, there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Line drive, base hit. Correa on his horse and coming home. The throw in, it's off the mark, and he scores. Comes through with the RBI. Tried to right. get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Just kept his hands in and turned on the pitch. Quick bat through the zone. So two down. Now it's the right fielder. Max Kepler doubled his first time up. And a foul ball. The 0-1. Next oh, offering misses down and away. Strike two. One the ball. Twins two up strikes. big in this one. Here at the top of the second. Way two high ball. there. And the count's even at two. And the righty deals. We got a full count. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Two outs. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. 
This is Willie Castro. Struck out swinging his first time. Up and in. And that is ball one. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And it is two and one. Two ball, one strike. Smoke to the left, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded and two gone. And next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And a swing and a miss there. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. On the ground at first. He takes it on his own. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of in the inning, but they strand three. Nelson Velasquez stands in now and watches strike one. That's a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. One out, base is empty. Three. Struck him out looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And that ends the inning. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, out of the third inning, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Byron Buxton. Ripped on the ground a second. Frazier on the first, in time. And one away in the top of the third. And now for the Twins, Jose Miranda. And a big swing and a miss, Miranda. Oh, one in his count. second season, batting second in today's lineup, and his last 10 games stand out. He's homered in four of them. This one in the air right field. Renfro makes the grab, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now a chance for Alex Kirilov. And first offering is fouled off. Finish him. The Twins up big in this one. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one lifted to left. Melendez sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is that. And we're back. Now, M.J. Melendez. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Oh Left-hand hitter waits. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the third baseman. a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Oh, one, the Waters in the box now. No balls in a strike. Hey. Swing and a miss. No ball, that strike. is strike two. Hey. Come on and miss. Struck him out. Now two away. And to the play for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Aye. And that's in there at the knees. Oh, the Royals boy. with a lot of ground to make up. Aye. Here in the last Aye. half of the third. 
And that's downstairs and outside. Smash to the left side. And that Ow. is the inning. Royals lead. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Oh, that got yeah, away from him. him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Man at first, Kyle Farmer. The next twin up to hit. One for two. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Down. Well, these twins doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the oh. game. They're getting hits when it matters one most up. and converting base runners into runs. They've got five hits with runners in scoring position. The one to one. Wouldn't nope. chase that time. One of the most frustrating things for an offense is leaving runners on base. So the big hits they've gotten in this one. It made a very happy group of hitters down there. Next pitch is outside. Out there to center. Waters on his way over. And there's one down. So a man aboard. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Swings and misses. Strike one. Oh and the one. high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. And one the ball. next pitch is way Good outside. Play. Correa stands at first with one out. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Righty to the plate. Ah. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Max Kepler at the plate. So clutch. You could argue that he's been this oh, team's no MVP play. this year. Center field. And that is that. One left. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. Right through there for a strike. You know, Boo, this is a player with some serious speed. In 2023, he became the first player in 20 years to record two infield hits and an inside the park home run in the same game. He handles it himself. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Perez, batting with one down, takes a strike. That's to third. On to first. Already two gone here in the home floor. Velasquez now at the plate as he swings through one. strike one. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Line drive. Walner snags it, and that will end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the second base. Baseman, Willie Castro. Sour back to work. And it's fouled away. Well, these twins are doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Only two strikeouts so far, and obviously they've been able to pick up plenty of hits, so it's been an impressive one. Renfro balls it in, and there's one away. And you know, that strikeout total, only two so far, really tells you they're not just running into good luck and getting hits to fall. Oh. They're earning those knocks. Walner in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Yeah, there's a ball. That ball misses three. the zone, and that's ball Rain three. Out. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And he walked ball him. Thank you, man. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. On the ground to the left. And that one handled. 
and he's safe he's at good. first. He's safe. So first and second with one gone. So up next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. And that's a base hit around third. The throw in. He's safe. He Picks himself up at RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into no, center field. Good. Alec Marsh comes on no, now, no. and he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. One down, and now the Minnesota designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. Foul ball there. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And they now lead by nine. Well, now here's Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One the count. Miranda stands at second with two gone. That's to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. Run comes in from second. It's 10-0. Well done. Drives in the run. He just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Right side. Renfro in position. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Back here in Kansas City, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Hunter Renfro at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Royals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Three. Caught him looking for the K. Here's Adam Frazier. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Melendez in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Buxton going back. Didn't quite have enough. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, here's the catcher, Brian Jeffers. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. Throws to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. And now the right fielder, Max Kepler. Wouldn't oh, chase that good. time. Marsh, a 6-2 righty, 220 pounds, and he was a second-round pick back in 2019. And a foul ball. The Twins up big in this one, and we're the top half of the sixth. So now one and two. I one think ball. he was sitting off speed there. That well, one just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And Can't another ball. ball. Outside, and that is ball four. Speaking of walks. Did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. Play a third in there. And it's second and third, one away. One away, runners at second and third. And the batter now, Matt Walmer. 
He's over one. Hit in the air, left field. Melendez drifts towards it, makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. Throw is up line, and he scores. And the lead continues to grow. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. So the batting order turns over. Here's Byron Buxton. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, and Runner one. at second, two down. Here in the second game of the series. That That's one off the mark, and now it's even one and one. Hey. And a swing and a miss. <laughs> sitting on One a ball. fastball right there right. and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Just oh, missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. Inning over, and it could have been. Staying in the game on defense, Edouard now Julien. Ball. He entered the game to pitch hit, and now man second base. Number 11, leading things off and takes a strike. In the air, right side. Kepler makes the grab. One up, one down. Drew Waters stands in. Pitches in there. And that is strike one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The Royals with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Pasquantino stands in now and watches strike one. Going two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Nothing doing for the Royals. And we're back. Top of inning number seven. Now the number two hitter, Jose Miranda. Marsh back to work. That's inside. Ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Josh Taylor up and throwing. Anderson also throwing. Well struck left field. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a double. Fourth hit of the night for him. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Nice line drive to the pole side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And the batter now. Clobber to right field. Way back. Gone. A massive home run. That's his 50th career homer. And they tack on to their lead. It's 13-0. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Daniel Lynch. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today. With the Swung on, belted. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. He put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. And now, Kyle Farmer. He dives, but he can't make the catch. And he's got a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. 
And now, Ryan Jeffers. Out to short. Witt over to first. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. Max Kepler, the next twin up to hit. Max Kepler. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Already three runs across in the frame here at the top half of inning number seven. Lifted in the air right center field. Sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. Julien enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off. Finish him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. They limit the damage here. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. The punch out there. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip the cap. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Three. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate... We're at the top of the... Eight. Rocco Baldelli making a move for a pinch hitter. Trevor Larnick. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. That was blasted to the moon. And they tack one on the board. It's 15-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. I love the approach as a pitch hitter right there. Don't let him steal a strike on you just because you're coming in cold off the bench. If you get something to handle, jump all over it. And he was on that one. That's a big boost to the dugout. Up the middle. And that one handled. Tosses to first. First out in the top of the eight. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. And he gets tied up right there. Wow, oh, no one. fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And there are two down. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. That oh, misses the zone. And yeah, that's ball one. <laughs> He was late there, strike one. I got a ball, one strike. And the slider catches the zone. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Struck him out of the foul tip. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. Back after this on the show.
So remaining in the game defensively, Trevor Larnick. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Renfro up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. And here it comes. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Larner going back. And brings it in at the wall. No action in the bullpen, though. Looks like they're going to let him stay out there. Frazier yeah. at the plate for the third time as he comes up oh, empty one, there. The Twins up big in this one. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Bounce to third. Gets to it with a slide. And very oh. nicely done for the out. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. Hit in the air, center field. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch in a goal. We go to the ninth. Now Correa up to hit. And a pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one back there. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Cut off. Throw to third. Save. Just ahead of the tag. And now the first baseman, Kyle Farmer. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That's back. Say goodbye to that one. Home run number 20 on the year. And they add a couple more. It's 17 to nothing. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not now, on good. the mound now, Josh Taylor. No, well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. At the play, Brian Jeffers. That's off the mark, and it's one to know. Taylor, a tall lefty, 31 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One strike. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. It's a pretty good pitch down and away, but an even better job to go down there and get it while driving it to the opposite field for the base hit. Kepler, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Aye. This one in the dirt. No ball, two strikes. No advance, good job behind the dish. The 0-2. One ball, chase that time. two strikes. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Man at second. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Hey. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, one's the count. One out and a runner at second. Hey. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly oh, it two. is nothing in two. That Ball. one missed. The pitch. Nope. And another okay. ball. Okay. 
and a pitch. That one misses, and it's three and two. Jeffers, the runner at second with one away. Outside, and that is ball four. Here's Trevor Larnick. Rocco Baldelli making a move for a pinch hitter. Manuel Marco. Runners at first and second, four with one down. Slice down the right side. Two runs across in the inning. Here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Two on, one out. Nope, that's inside. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. First Whoa, pitch misses. Yeah. Swings through that. One and one. Two on, two outs. That to right. That takes care of Buxton. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. We head now to the bottom of the ninth. This is Twins Baseball on the show north. Staying in the game on defense, Manuel Marco. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Number 11 in the box now. No balls and a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Julian. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Drew Waters. That misses. Ball one. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Two strike. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out now number two. The first base. Vinny. So they're down to their final out. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. One for three. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. They're down to their final strike. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one carry. And it hits the fence. Pasquantino into second, and he's got a double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. On the ground, and this should do it. Over to first, and that'll do it. And the Twins take the first two games of this series on the road. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. So this one got a little out of hand for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.